Let me ask you, why is everybody using these tiny little lights nowadays? I remember when people used to use big lights. That's a good story, Grandpa. <laughs> hey. 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 Wow. Monica's letting other people help decorate her tree. Did someone get her drunk again? Or... Having a perfectly decorated tree is not what Christmas is about. It's about being with the people that you love. That is nice. And we're done. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know what it is. It just doesn't quite feel like Christmas to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, now it feels like Christmas. And that's the story of the dreidel. <laughs> now, some people trace the Christmas tree back to the Egyptians, who used to bring green palm branches into their huts on the shortest day of the year, symbolizing life's triumph over death. And that was like 4,000 years ago. So, pretty much around the same time that you started telling this story. <laughs> Hey, you guys. Hey, Joe, what's hey. up? Oh, I had to get out of the apartment. Janine is, like, stretching all over the place. You know, everywhere I look, she's like... <laughs> I can see why that's hard to resist. <laughs> I like her so much. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie, that she doesn't feel the same way. No, she's so sweet. I just want to feed her grapes and brush her hair. <laughs> You are aware that she's not a monkey, right? I am so over Janine. I mean, I, uh, yeah, at first I thought she was hot, but now she's like old news. Hey, guys. Janine! I just got a call to be a dancer on a television special for New Year's Eve. It's called some sort of Dickin' Rockin' Dicky Eve. <laughs> Hold it. Are you talking about Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, my God! We love that show! I mean, Ross and I have been watching it since I, I, since I can remember. Yeah. Uh, you're still just a little fat girl inside, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm gonna be on it this year. I'm gonna be one of the party people. What? You're gonna be a party person? Those guys rock the most. <laughs> Well, they said I should bring someone. Uh, do you want to be my dance partner? Totally. I would love to spend New Year's with you. No, well, actually, they're taping tomorrow. I don't really understand why. But... Oh, well, you see, how it works is the part with Dick Clark in Times Square is actually live. But they tape some of the party stuff ahead of time. Yeah, not a lot of people know that. <laughs> yeah, well, do you guys want to come, too? Are you serious? We are there! <laughs> 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 what are you laughing at? Well, I used to date him, but you're still going out with her? <laughs> oh, thanks. Great, so we can all go together. Uh, I gotta run. i catch you later. Bye. Bye, Bye Janine. <laughs> Did she just ask me out on a date? I don't think so. <laughs> What, what are you talking about? He, she just invited him to the biggest party of the millennium. Yeah, but she also invited you and Ross. Yeah, honey, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't think that that was a romantic thing. Well, maybe. But, uh, hey, I know how I can find out. Well, we're going to a New Year's Eve party, right? So at midnight, I can kiss her. And if she kisses me back, great. You know? <laughs> but if, if she says, dude, what the hell are you doing? I can say, it wasn't me, it was New Year's. <laughs> That's a lot better than Ross trying to kiss me in high school and saying that he did it because he needed chapstick. It was a dry day. We are going to Dick Clark's New Year's Rocket Eve! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh my God.